arrows away. Good morning. Today's power of scripture comes from Psalm 18, verse 14. The New King James Version reads, He sent out his arrows and scattered the foe, lightnings in abundance, and he vanquished them. Have you ever felt as if you've been pulled to the farthest of your ability to stretch? Felt as if you have bent over backwards so far that you could easily see where you've been? Or how about things being so tight that you could not give another inch? Well, believe it or not, these are all good signs. Yes, great signs. It means that you are just about at the point of letting go. Not the kind of letting go where you give up or give out, but the kind of letting go when you give over. Give whatever it is over to God. He has been patiently waiting for you to exhaust yourself to the point where you will now really let go and let God. What do you think all of that sacrifice and torture was about 2,000 years ago? Why do you think Jesus bore those gruesomely abusive stripes? Blood was shed and a ransom paid and you were redeemed. Time to cash in and God has been waiting. We must not keep struggling to operate in our own strength or we will be guilty of trying to negate the work of Jesus as the Savior of this world. We must let God be God and do his wonderful godly things of never sleeping, always protecting, healing, nurturing, teaching, and guiding. Sovereignty requires some really big shoes, and you and I can in no way even think about how to begin to fill them. Let God be God. He is really good at it. And although you think you have the right answer, let him do his thing. An arrow by itself, though sharp and full of potential, has very little power unless it is pulled and positioned. The greater the pull, the more the tension, the higher the angle, the farther the arrow will fly. So if you feel like you've been stretched to the limits of your patience, your abilities, your wits, guess what? It is time to soar. God knows just the right amount of tension and resistance for you to bear. He knows where he wants you to land and how much force it will take to get you there. Let God be God and enjoy the flight. Every day is a good day. It is up to us to make it a power-packed great day. Be blessed. Dr. Joanne.